Daily Inspiration, day three. So today, we're going to talk about, you know, finding the right partner for you. Now it's important, today there's a lot of things happening. Uh, divorce rates are high, and um, people cheating has increased. And there's a reason for that, is because we're not following, we're not following what we've been commanded, we've been told. So I'm not going to go into the books, I'm just going to go straight to the Quran. No, it doesn't matter if you believe in the Quran or not believe in the Quran, listen, because what I'm going to say is going to make sense. Okay, if you don't believe something, but if it's the truth, you don't accept it after that, it's your own problem. If you want to be an idiot, be an idiot. But if you don't, okay, so it says this Allah says in the Quran, Al Muslimin lil Muslimat. Al Muslimin lil Muslimat. Okay, but before that it says Al Mu'minin lil Mu'minat. So this is important. People ask me, why do you keep going around keep saying you're a Mu'min? Why do you go around keep saying you're a believer? Mu'min is a believer. Okay, so why do you keep around? Why do you keep saying you're a believer? And you're not a Muslim. Because I said it, Allah says in the Quran, Allah talks about the Mu'mineen. Uh, a Muslim is a term, you called yourselves Muslims. In the Quran, Allah goes, Samakum Ibrahim. said, Ibrahim called you Muslim. Allah doesn't claim that he called you Muslim. Nowhere in the Quran can you prove that you've been called Muslim. Here's another thing Muslim, Islam itself, it's a verb. You can't call yourself a verb. Do you get me? What do I mean by that? So if you go running, you can't say that I'm run. That doesn't make sense. If you're a fighter, you can't say I, I'm fight or I am fight. It's a verb. It's an action. It's a doing word. So Islam is a doing. It's an action. It's an action where you submit. And you submit. Why do you submit? You submit because you realize there's a creator and you want to change your ways and you want to become a believer and you want to become a good person. That's why you do the action. Of Islam okay now you go around calling yourself a Muslim then okay we can debate on that as well even then like from an Arabic perspective from Arabic grammar you say oh but a Muslim is the person who submits do you know what I mean so well there's a there's a big debate about that among the uh, we're not gonna get into that not important just simple if you say the Muslim you can't be a believer you got to pick one you want you can only be one thing at a time if you want to be a Muslim you're a Muslim you can't say you're a believer. And if you want to believe it, you can't say you're a Muslim. Simple as that. Okay. So, in the Quran, Allah says, Al Mu'minin lil Mu'minat. So, the believing men for the believing women. So, Al Mu'minin lil Mu'minat or Al Mu'minin lil Mu'minat, whatever. Basically, Allah tells, says for the believing women to go with the believing men. Wal Muslimin lil Muslimat. And the believing, the, and the, the Muslim, those who call themselves Muslims, the non-believers, that's the reference here. And if you go in the books of Tafsir, you see what the scholars say. They talk about, um, if you're not a mu'min, and Allah's calling you the Muslim here, and it's referring to the hypocrites at that time, or referring to the hypocrites in, in Medina, the ones who used to go around and say, oh, we believe, we believe, but they don't believe, they were lying. They go around saying, we believe, and they don't believe. But they're going around to the uh, enemy side saying, yeah, we're with you. In the Quran it goes, uh, uh, in, in Surah Al-Baqarah, in Surah Al-Baqarah, which is the second chapter in the Quran, it said, when they're with you, they say, oh, we're with you. Amen, we believe. And then it goes, well, I'm a, oh, how can I forget? My brain, I've got brain, what is it? Brain, whatever today. Well, and if they go back to Shayateen, when they go back to their Shayateen, when they go back to their, that was the not making me forget on purpose, so I can't say it. And when they go back to their Shayateen, when they go back to the enemies, they go back to the, to the enemy side, they say, oh, we're with you. We're just taking a mick. We're taking a mic. So back to what I'm saying, finding your partner is simple. You look for it. If you're a believer, you look for the believers. If you're a non-believer, you don't believe. You're not a believer. You don't believe in Allah. Like you're a liar, you're a hypocrite, you're two-faced, huh? Or you're trying to or you're a kafir, you cover the truth. They're disbelievers. So you're meant to marry, marry your own kind. And when I say marry your own kind, this is not being me being racist, this is not a colour thing. This is not oh Africans should marry Africans and Arabs should marry Arabs. No. Do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, you go by the heart. And the heart is, there's only two types of heart. You believe or you don't believe. Okay? Now, here's another interesting thing. Allah says in the Quran also, الطيبين, the, الطيبات, the pure ones, the pure males, الطيبين, the tayyibat for the pure females. والخبيثين, الخبيثات, and the dirty hearted ones, الخبيث, Al-Khabithin is the dirty males. For what? Al-Khabithat, the dirty females. 
So what am I trying to say? If you've divorced, you're in a relationship and you're falling out with your partner, you need to ask, okay, what am I? Am I a believer or I'm not a believer? Once you work that out, you need to see who your partner was. Were they a believer or were they a disbeliever? And then you're going to get the answer. And I guarantee you, probably 95% of the time, the person who your partner was, if you were a, if you were a, see, if you're a female, you're a woman, and you married, obviously, you married someone thinking they were a believer, and you're a believer, now you've divorced, you've split. Why? Because you can never be together. You're not meant to be together. Um, the Creator, Allah, God, He won't let you be together. Because and that's the order. In, uh, that's the order. The commands in all the books. We've been told to find like for like. You know what I mean? The believers are for the believers, and the disbelievers for the disbelievers. And if you haven't, if you're in a difficult relationship and you're trying to work out why, this is probably the fundamental reason. Is this? You need to ask. Am I a believer? Okay. Yeah, I'm a believer. Okay. Is my partner a believer? Yes or no? If they're a believer, then okay. You've got other issues you need to sort. It could be mental issues, it could be trust issues, it could be past trauma, whatever it is, sort them out. But if it's not, and you realise you wake up one day and the person next to you isn't the person that you married at the beginning, they pretend to be believers, you pretend to be good people, they pretend to be, you know what I mean, the perfect partner. And you wake up now and you look at them and go, who the hell is this in my bed? Is a stranger in my bed? Most likely, you've married the wrong person.